Well, some movie fans embrace their favorite film or actor by buying a piece of Hollywood made right here in Indiana. And our Rafael Sanchez introduces you to the Indianapolis company driven by your interest in the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown. I am uh, 45 years old and make license plates and I don't wear oranges or stripes for a living. Travis Bell makes it his business to work with superheroes, promote superstars, and celebrate the silver screen's wide range of movies through license plates. We do roughly 200 different license plates from about 150 different movies and television shows. There's Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park to Travis and Haley, that's the wife, Jeff Bridges. There's uh, Matthew Broderick from Ferris Bueller. How about we run a nice Cadillac? My treat! 18 years ago, Travis created Celebrity Machines after he bought the car known as the General Lee, seen in the popular TV show, The Dukes of Hazzard. Yes, who? And it always looked weird with an Indiana license plate on the back of the Pride of the South. So I chased down some of the original prop makers and the people that made the plates for the show. Uh, so the studios would lean on us to make the actual screen accurate license plate. His inventory totals more than a quarter of a million plates. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Who's he gonna call among the most recognizable? The Ecto-1 plate from Ghostbusters. The first movie, the second movie, even the movie that came out with all the gals a couple years ago. The Love Me Plate from National Lampoon Vacation. Uh, she signed it. What a great signature. And Out of Time from Back to the Future. You know, people give them as gifts, they get them autographed, they put them on their cars. Among his favorites are the plates whose letters and numbers combo hold a secret message, like the one from Herbie the Love Bug has an absolutely boring OFP 857 California license plate, which means our first production, August of 1957. So studios will hide things in their license plates. The Blues Brothers license plate is BDR 529 Illinois, and the Black Diamond Riders Club was at 529, and that was their address, and that was the first club that Dan Aykroyd ever played at. It is as if God created the devil and gave him Jaws. Yes, Jaws has a license plate. Shoot! Steven Spielberg wanted to direct a James Bond movie, so he put 007 on the inside of a plate that came out of a shark. So a Hoosier business with an array of pre-cut rectangular metal sheets is driven by your fascination of the people and plots behind the dramas, the droids, the daring effects that gives you a break from reality and keeps you staying classy no matter your cinematic choices. <laughs> and the Oscars were all about staying classy. That's right. This is the plate from the comedic movie Anchorman, which is also made and sold by Indianapolis-based celebrity mm -hmm. machines there. So it also makes plates for wrestler Hulk Sorry. Hogan, the TV show Breaking Bad, and performer Vanilla Ice, just to name a few. Isn't that awesome? Everything's collectible. And it's yeah, funny. Cool. I mean, I remembered the license plate from Jaws, but I had no idea what number The backstories, the, yeah. those secret stories they had there. That's interesting. I learned so much in that. Thank yeah. you, Raphael. Very interesting and fun to see where all these come from. Yeah.